Get in the mood for some Friday fitness. It's not all about exercise. You have to eat right, too. Angela Kelly joins us live from Festival Foods in Darboy with more. Hi, Angela. Hi, guys. Well, these aren't Girl Scout cookies, but they're cookies. And don't they look good? Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Is that double stuffed? Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. <laughs> But you know what? If you're grocery shopping like this, uh, you probably need a little help, right? Heather Pincelli can do that. She runs Fox Valley Adventure Boot Camp for Women out of Nina. And we are joining you from the Festival Foods in Darboy. Good morning to you, Heather. Hi. So basically, for 20 bucks, I can hire you to take me on a grocery shopping tour. Yes. How does that work? So we would meet at the grocery store. The first thing we would do is I would give everybody a cart and they would go choose some of their favorite foods and staples in their house. That, and then we would meet back at the front. We'd go through everybody's carts kind of one by one and talk about how to read ingredient labels, choosing alternatives. And then we'll go through the store and dis discuss the aisles and, and what to look for and the marketing tips and techniques and kind yeah. of the tricks and trades of the grocery store. That's fantastic. So the whole thing takes about an hour. Yes. But what Heather's done for us this morning is she's pulled a few of these staple items that people commonly grab. So let's talk about the yogurt first. So yogurt is a big one. You know, oftentimes the client will say to me, I eat the, the light or, you know, a certain light or fat free. And one of the main things you need to do is turn everything over. Ingredient labels, read the ingredients. And you'll notice that on this light yogurt, there is corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, corn starch. And on this Greek yogurt, there is none of that. There's no additives, no preservatives. What you want to do with Greek yogurt is add fresh fruit and some agave syrup or a little bit of honey. Just a little bit does the trick. Okay, perfect. Let's go to peanut butter. This can be yes. tricky. Another big one. So what's interesting is you always look for natural. Everyone thinks natural is the way to go, and it, and it could be. But again, you have to turn those ingredient labels over. You notice that this natural one has sugar, salt, and oil added. But when you turn this natural one over, it's just peanuts on the ingredient labels. So okay. read the ingredient labels, look at what's in there. All right, let's go to um, fresh versus frozen fruits and veggies. Yes, okay, that's a big one. So, you know, fresh is good and, it's, and I would say it's best, but if you're just gonna buy that fresh fruits or vegetables and it's gonna sit in your refrigerator and rot, then you're better off choosing something that's gonna set you up for success. So whatever success means to you. If success means frozen and then you steam them or boil them, or if it means that it's pre-cut and already washed and, and cut for you, whatever's gonna set you up for success. Okay, we've got about 20 seconds. Yes. Tell us about the meat. Oh, okay. So ground beef is a big thing. Some alternatives to ground beef are ground turkey, but you wanna be careful because you'll notice that one is extra lean and one is lean. So the extra lean is a 99-1, that's 99% lean, 1% fat. And the lean is 93% lean, 7% fat. Both are good alternatives to the ground beef, but obviously the extra lean would be the preferred. Okay, fantastic. If you want to do a grocery shopping tour and learn about this, again, it costs 20 bucks, um, you can go on Heather's website, which we have a link to on our website, box11online.com. Just click on the Good Day Wisconsin tab. So, goodbye to the cookies. <laughs> Woohoo, see you later. And hello to <laughs> Greek yogurt and natural peanut butter. Back to you. <laughs> come back cookies, come back. I missed them already. No, they're gone, they're gone. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Ann. See ya. See ya.